Hey, Blades fans, welcome back to Hertz Arena for game four of the South Division semifinals between the Florida Everblades and the Jacksonville Iceman Will Henschel alongside Jake Maurice for the Everblades pregame show. And Jake, the Blades, another overtime game on Wednesday night, but this time not going in the favor of Florida. Jacksonville taking the 4 3 win. Yeah, they get that kind of cheesy goal early in the overtime period. And it's a shame Florida had their opportunities in the third to get that tie breaking goal, get a regulation win, and take the series lead. Unfortunately, now things at Jacksonville's hand, but a chance tonight to get things evened again. These past two games, game two and game three, have been some of the most evenly matched hockey we've seen all season between these two sides, evidenced by the fact that. Both those games have gone to overtime, so definitely expecting another very close matchup tonight. Yeah, it's going to be another tight defensive game. So Florida, they've got to find ways to capitalize on their opportunities, even more so than they did in game three when they had three goals. You've got to capitalize on rush opportunities, which Florida did really well in game three and going back to game two. Capitalize on turnovers when you get them. When you get a chance on the power play, you got to score. Florida has not yet had a power play goal in this series, and that's been a key detriment for Florida's game. So the Blades, they've got to get when they get their offensive opportunities which aren't going to come too often because of Jacksonville's stout defense you got to take advantage of them you can trust your own game in your zone Florida's been strong defensively throughout this series and that's going to continue you just got to get the offense rolling alongside it now Jake the Blades found themselves down two nothing at the end of the first period then stormed back with a big three goal second period after 40 minutes game was tied 3-3 but the Blades throughout this entire series the first three games still looking for a first period goal. Yeah the Blades right now they're being outscored 4-0 in the first period or 3-0 pardon me in the first period of series this year including 2-0 in the game three loss on Wednesday which was probably the worst start the Blades have had to the, a game in this series so far and you can't have that it's not going to lead to any long-term success right you certainly won't be going much further than the south division semifinals if you can't get any first period goals and it's been a struggle going back to the regular season but it's a key point of emphasis tonight for the coaching staff for the players to come out have a strong start going to be a bigger crowd tonight here at hertz arena something you can use to get going a little bit earlier galvanize your group and look for some early offense we saw some pretty spread out scoring on wednesday uh sean jostling joe pendenza and jordan sambrook the three goal scorers for the everblades so we're seeing some kind of familiar faces on, on the forward positionings uh, for scoring production, but also the blue line is getting into it as well. Yeah, and it was good to see. I mean, Jordan Sandbrook, he's a guy who normally isn't so much on the score sheet, is more relied on for his defensive game, but him getting that huge goal, you could see the excitement on his face, his teammates' face. That was a big goal for the group, not just tying up the game, but emotionally, mentally, for him to get out on the score sheet. That was great to see. And then, of course, Pendenza and Jostling, they're going to be leaders for the playoff run. For however long it goes, they've got to be the guys driving the bus. And in game two, it was sort of the second line doing it all by themselves the first line getting involved on Wednesday It'd be great to see the bottom six forwards find a way to cash one in here tonight Jacksonville up 2-1 in this series Jake so Florida really looking to level this series with another game another home game on the horizon tomorrow Saturday night so it's time I think it's about time we get into the Griffith group of Downing Fry Realty three keys of the game yeah we talked about the first one and that's going to be having a better first period you can't have another first period where you're trailing in the game you need another you need a first period goal tonight i would say to just for the group's mental state give yourself a better start certainly looking for a better start than what they had wednesday night second off i also mentioned special teams the blades do not yet have a power play goal in this series it's going to need to come through as a positive factor at some point if florida wants to advance get or the, get this series back to jacksonville where florida if they're going to win the series now they're going to have to go back to vice star veterans memorial arena and having a little bit of power play success going back there would be huge to help florida advance in the playoffs and then finally as i said the crowd's going to be better tonight. It's going to be a bigger crowd. Game four, you got to use that energy that they're going to give you all throughout the night. We had a lot of it in game three, and you're going to get even more of it here tonight with a bigger crowd in game four. So you got to take advantage of it, use it, and hopefully walk away with a win and a tied series. More playoff hockey here at Hertz Arena. The Blades and Iceman tonight at 730 here at Hertz Arena. We'll see you there.